the best piece of advice I can give you is whenever you're trying to get somewhere, start from where you are with what you've got to the best of your ability. You don't worry about things that are out of your control, but whatever you do control, do it with everything you've got. Put 100% into it. Make that dribble game-like. It's gotta be at pace. If someone has sight, all they can see is what's in front of them. That's it. Someone with vision can see what's in front of them and what that can lead to. As a footballer, you need to have vision, not sight. Now let's start to see if we can introduce that communication, that vocal communication, where you start to demand the ball instead of calling it. Check your shoulder. It allows you to see what's happening around so you know your next pass. Everyone put your hand up as high as you can. Okay, put it a bit higher now. Now how come you all went higher the second time? When I said the first time, put it up as high as you can. Not only is it right to call it vocally, but when you pass, you've also got to be vocal. Tell the player who's getting it, nice and loud, and give him some instructions. When you lose the ball, it should be like an automatic switch. You must go hell for leather to recover your position or recover the ball. You've got to start to understand, boys, when you do something, you've got to do it to the best of your ability or you're wasting your time. When you're on the football pitch, you've got to have presence. You've got to command the field, yeah? As you go up, if you don't have presence on a pitch, you're going to get left aside. Doesn't matter how good you are. It's much better to take that extra touch and play it than it is to try and force the pass one touch and it goes flying. Don't get caught up in the drill. The drill is the sight. The whole thing is vision. You want to envision it on the field. I see players out here that are so much better than your body right now is convincing you of. You boys are all quality players. Absolute quality. But your body right now is playing a joke on you. It's making you think you can't pass straight when you know you've passed a ball firm and straight a thousand times before. He's not gonna be able to find number three once he takes off. It's up to number three to say, yeah, 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 yeah. Bang, it's alive again. At least you can identify the problems, see if you can solve them now. Communication, talks up, very good. You're starting to get it now. You're stepping it up, you're pushing yourselves, and that's what this is about. If any of you ever gone to the gym and done weights, the most important reps, and Joe will probably back me up on this, is those last two or three that you squeeze out that you didn't think you could do, correct? That's where the muscle grows. And that, I can tell you now, applies in life across everything. Those, those moments when you think, I'm done, I've got nothing left, you're that close to breaking through.